When the prince was struck by the sands of time, something was broken with him. Something strange and cunning. Something dark. The seven years spent on the run had embittered the prince and made him hard. This burden sustained his other half, gave it strength. The prince was tempted to do as it said, for it was a light in the darkness, offering comfort and guidance to a man who had just lost everything. But what were its intentions? Why did it help him? Only time would tell. Father would tell me stories. Pay attention. Something's happening down there. Is that? It's the vizier. He's been completely transformed. Interesting. He has used the power of the sands to transform his army. And these artifacts will allow him to transport them across the city with ease. He appears to be in complete control. Things do not look too good for you at the moment. I will not let the Vizier have Babylon. My city. My throne. He has used that beam as a gate. We will follow him through. Well, that went well. Maybe following the vizier through that gate wasn't such a good idea. What is this place? It looks like some kind of temple. Could all this have been made by the vizier? Look at that statue. Hmm. There certainly is a resemblance. Let us take a closer look at that altar. It looks as though this temple hasn't functioned in quite some time. Gears on that water wheel look rusted through. Perhaps if you find a way to operate them, we can proceed. <laughs> this temple reminds me of a tale my father once told me of the Lord of Time. An acolyte of Zervon was able to harness the energy of three temples and become more than a man. He was the very incarnation of Zervon on Earth. Overflowing with the power of a god, he ravaged and enslaved my people. What does a child's bedtime story have to do with anything? The story goes on to tell of a great king. Using surprise to their advantage, his armies destroyed the temples. Bravely, the king led his men forward, and after a Zervan's minions, driving the power from his body. The merciful king spared his life, exiling him to the mountains of India. The fool never leave an enemy alive. The vizier must have uncovered the lost temples of Zervan. How else could he have taken control of the sands, even with the dagger? So what are you going to do about it? Hmm? 